In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to use the Merge Code Automatically feature available in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 R2 and R3 to resolve code conflicts after applying AX updates. Before I begin the demonstration, I will describe the type of updates for AX 2012 and the features and the benefits of the Merge Code Automatically feature. What exactly is an update? An AX update can be a binary update or an application update. Updates can contain regulatory features, new features, or changes to existing features. Whenever an update is applied on an AX configuration, there could potentially be code conflicts that would require manual effort for resolution. The Merge Code Automatically feature is available as part of the Software Update Checklist in AX2012 R3 and in AX2012 R2 CU7 or available with the AX2012 R2 hotfix KB2894100. It simplifies the process of resolving conflicts between hotfixes and the customizations in an environment once one or more hotfixes are applied. Now I will demonstrate how the merge code automatically feature works. For the purpose of the demo, I am installing a hotfix KB2967209 in an AX2012 R3 environment. I run the update installer and click next on the welcome page. I accept the license terms and click next and I choose a model store to apply this application update and click next. When I choose to review conflicts, I see 24 code conflicts in the user layer that will occur once this hotfix is applied. I click next now. I review all the updates. Click next and review the components that will be updated and click install. The hotfix has been installed now, resulting in 24 conflicts with the model elements in the user layer. After I have installed the hotfix, I start the AX client and see that the model store has been modified and I am choosing to start the software update checklist. I started the software update checklist. After compiling the application, now I choose to merge the code automatically. Before I begin the auto code merge process, I am going to show the conflicts that resulted as a consequence of applying R3 hotfix. I'm just picking one of the conflicts. In the validate field method, and I'm comparing between the SIP layer and the SIS layer changes or in essential, the changes introduced by the hotfix that was just applied. Now I am selecting the merge code automatically option. I get a warning that merging code automatically will change the code in the current customization layer and that I backup my model store database before merging. 
I click OK since I have already backed up my model store. I am prompted to create a project that will contain the resolved and unresolved conflicts. The auto code merge tool will append the layer and the date to the provided name. I am choosing the default name update and clicking OK. A progress window appears to provide an update on the merge code automatically process. The merge process may take some time depending on the number of code conflicts to be resolved. It starts by searching for all model elements in the current layer corresponding to the elements that have been updated in the patch layer. It will merge just the elements with source code as its content. It will not merge enums, other node types or properties for instance. It will merge anything with X++ source code in the contents. It also shows what element is currently being merged. Once the merge code automatically process is completed, the results show the changes that were automatically merged and any conflicts that could not be merged. I am double clicking to see one of the merged changes. In this case, I'm looking at the validate field method. And I see code comments that were introduced by the merge code automatically too. And I see the code that was merged. For instance, this was the code that was originally in the sys layer. And this is the code that has been currently introduced in the user layer. And this is the code from the hotfix update. Now I'm double clicking on an unresolved change. And I see the to-do comments that provides guidance around manual resolution. You should still review all the changes that were successfully merged to ensure that they are correct. After all resolving all the conflicts, you can compile the application again to ensure that everything is working properly.